Welcome back. New information tonight at five. Lucky to be alive. A man from Mount Zion suffered a terrifying injury while cutting trees down with his friend. In a split second, the chainsaw that he was using nearly ended his life. News Channel 20's Brian Bridge bringing in some more on that situation. Brian? Miracle, life-changing, freakish accident. These are the words that 53-year-old Jason Eckenrod used to describe what happened Monday, June 5th. Eckenrod was cutting trees, business as usual, when the chainsaw kicked back. He says the chainsaw came back at him and cut the left side of his throat. According to the nurses, it cut through the exterior and interior jugular, cutting a muscle and just barely missing a corroded artery. You know, I, actually, I was kind of angry with myself for what happened. Like, I can't believe I'm going to check out this way. Eckenrod was up in the boom truck when he was cut and proceeded to take his shirt off and tie it around his neck in an effort to stop the bleeding. As he got down to the ground and the paramedics were called, his friend and business partner Brad took him and pressed a towel on his neck. When I go to sleep at night and when I wake up, that's, I, I see that. I see that saw coming at me and it gets my heart pumping pretty good again and then it's hard to fall back asleep after that. <laughs> after that. Just his whole lifestyle is kind of like tough and rough and can take anything, so but this one really threw us for a loop and it was it was probably one of the scariest moments of my life. His friend pressed that towel on his neck for over 20 minutes until surgery was just about to begin. Eckenrod says there were teams of nurses waiting at the hospital ready to sew him up. This tree care business is one of the family's two main sources of income. With home visits, phone calls, and even a GoFundMe page, the community has helped the family. You know, there are people that have it a heck of a lot worse than I've got it, uh, for sure. And, uh, but it's just, it blows me away that, that people would, are willing to do this for, for us. Eckenrod got his staples and bandages taken off on Monday and was released from the hospital just two days after the incident. He says he still plans on volunteer coaching for Millican University's wrestling team in the fall if his family and his body will allow it. In Mount Zion, I'm Brian Bridge. Back to you. Thanks, Brian. Amazing story there. Now, the two were about 20 minutes from finishing that yard work that they were working on. Eckenrod says the final part of his recovery is going to be to finish taking down that tree where the accident happened.